Another action-packed sentencing day review coming your way right now. But first, if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell if you enjoy yourself. We talk about all things prison and crime related. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then destiny led you down the right path today. Now the clip that we're gonna be reviewing today is about an individual by the name of Tony Farmer, a once promising high school basketball star who in 2012 was sentenced to prison. Farmer 26 was a top 100 ESPN recruit with NBA potential, but became famous after feigning in the Ohio courtroom during sentencing in 2012. And that is what we're gonna be reviewing today is that clip. I believe it's got like 13 million views. Dude went viral. He was sentenced to three years in jail, guilty of kidnapping, robbery intimidation and felony assault which i believe was on his girlfriend at the time if i remember correctly but now ladies and gentlemen he's back in the limelight once again and that's what brought me back to this video because honestly i seen this shit about a year ago and i totally forgot about it until i seen an article in my news feed this morning and in this article it shows a picture of a facebook post that's dated september 5th 2020 and it states that police in kenner louisiana issued a warrant for his arrest Friday on felony domestic abuse battery after his former girlfriend filed a complaint about an April 17th incident that was recorded by a doorbell camera. Now I know the Facebook post that I just read to you was from September of 2020. I don't think any of the charges have been dropped since then. I haven't found anything like that online. So I'm guessing the court proceedings are still in motion, but you know with everything going on, it's probably going to take a little longer than usual. But if he goes into the courtroom again, gets found guilty for felony assault on this one, what I'm trying to say is they're going to smoke his damn boots. It ain't looking good for all homeboy. Hopefully they come at you with a plea bargain or the girl drops the charges or something, dog, because damn. This dude might just see a 10 piece or more in his future. Let's go ahead and watch this viral video of this individual fainting after being sentenced to just three years in prison. Three years, years, which is the minimum on count one of that. As to count two. <laughs> He's asking his lawyer, did she just say three years? She couldn't have just said three years. That's what he's saying. Look, I've had people on this channel uh, it's done 17, 20, 30 years. And, you know, three years is nothing to individuals like that, you know, but three years to someone that's never done any time and they're just now experiencing lockup for the first time in their life. Three years is like, oh, my God, man. Ah. In that case, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on that count. All right. So the judge just gave him another two piece. He's thinking he's got five years now. Five years, which, in all actuality, the charges that he had, I mean, shit, he got blessed. Like I said, he got blessed. He had kidnapping, felony assault, I believe, and robbery, I think, if I remember correctly. I mean, shit, just kidnapping alone, you're lucky to get five. So right now he got sentenced to three, and then two, and he thinks he has five to do. As to count three of that case, the robbery, which is also a felony of the second degree, the court... Uh, orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> hey, look, he got two years for robbery. And uh, I, let me rewind this. I need to see. I didn't hear what she said. Uh, it was for the other charges. That the defendant shall serve a term of three years, years which is the minimum on count one of that. And All right. So he just got sentenced to three years. Uh, for the first charge, which I believe was kidnapping. And that is the minimal, the absolute minimal that he can get for that charge. He got it. So he should be happy as hell. As to count two in that case, felonious assault. Count two, felonious assault. This is what he's getting for the felonious assault. A felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on that count. <laughs> Two years for uh, felonious assault, which, like I said, for the last one, he got blessed. He's getting blessed. As to count three of that case, the robbery, which is also a felony of the second degree, the court uh, orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It gets me every time. So now he thinks he, well, he, he thought he was doing five. 
She sentences him to another two for the robbery. All right, the robbery, which, I mean, that's just unbelievable. A robbery charge in itself, that carries, in some instances, life. So this dude has gotten blessed on all three charges. But this is very typical, ladies and gentlemen. You just hear the numbers. You hear the numbers. It's all you hear is the years. And, and you calculate it. And you're like, oh, my God, five, two, seven, 40, 40, how many years? That's what you start doing. But you never listen to what the judge says after the years for the most part. It's tunnel vision. All words is pretty much just blended together. And you're just thinking about those years. That's a tiny ass courtroom. This is circuit court. And it looks like they just got like pull in chairs in there. This is the craziest looking courtroom I've ever seen in my life. Courtrooms over here look like a damn, it look like a, a temple. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. Uh, he's on the ground slumped up. <laughs> um, he sold count of the indictment in case 5642. He don't want to get up off the ground, man. He's drunk. That's what we call drunk, ladies and gentlemen, in prison. When you just get hit with a lot of time, you just found out your girl cheated on you, so, someone in your family died, you become punch drunk. The felony of the third degree, the court orders that the defendant shall serve a term of nine months in prison on that count. All of these terms are going to be served concurrently. Concurrently, ladies and gentlemen, that is the key word here. Concurrently. So all of them were piled together, and he just has to do the time for the one that has three years, I believe. Three years ran concurrent. He doesn't have to do time on each separate case. And that's what he didn't really understand. You got to listen to everything the judge says. It can be very complicated at times which means that the defendant is, in effect, going to spend three years in prison. Oh, he almost fell again. He, he's like, don't tell me again. Don't tell me again. <laughs> he almost falls again. He's going to spend three years in prison. Oh, oh. <laughs> As part of your sentence, Mr. Farmer, you are subject upon your release from prison. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the viral video of this individual feigning at the pedestal. Wait, that's not a pedestal. That's a stand, right? Or are they both the same? I think pedestal is more for a religious thing. I don't know. But anyways, uh, you know, I hate to see people get sentenced, you know, unless they deserve it. And I don't know too much about this guy's situations. But damn, just by judging a book by its cover, he looks like a cool dude. Look like someone I'd chill with. But of course, like I say, never judge a book by its cover. This guy's definitely back in the mix. Hopefully he doesn't have to go in the courtroom again, but it's not looking good for him. Like I told you earlier, he's got fresh felony assaults on a new girl, I believe. Those past charges and going in with some fresh new violent charges. They don't play with that shit, man. One thing that is guaranteed to smoke your boots is coming back into the courtroom for something very similar that sent you to prison the first time. Repeat offenses, even if they're not exactly the same, let's say... He has two different charges, but they're violent in nature. Repeat violent charges does not go good in the courtroom. If I hear any new details on this story, ladies and gentlemen, I'll definitely keep you posted. But by all means, let me know how you feel in the comment section below. And also hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell if you enjoy. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute to every last one who's been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.